Giants fans, but an extra, but an extra thank you goes out to the Eagles fans like my, like me, who are here instead of watching the game. But we should be able to make that four o'clock kickoff. As you may know, I'm from Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. And Joe is from Scranton, and it's always great to be home. It's especially great today to be joined by President Bill Clinton. Governor Casey, Bob Casey, Joe Biden, and Hillary Clinton. That's pretty impressive. Where would our party and our country be without you? We're all here for the same reason today. There are only 23 days left before the most important election in our lifetime. We all know how much is at stake. I'm a teacher. I've been a teacher for 27 years. Right now, I teach at the community college, so my students are the ones who are really investing in themselves. Many of them have jobs, but they're going to school in hopes of getting better jobs. Some of them are raising kids. They believe in the power of education and are working hard to build a brighter future for their families. More than ever, I am seeing students who can't do their homework because they can't afford the books. And, I can, and more than ever, they can't drive back to school for extra help because they can't afford the gas. And too many times when things get tough, a loved one gets sick or a student needs to get a second job, school is the first thing to go. My students cannot afford four more years of the same failed Bush policies. Many of my students in my classes were not even teenagers when Bill Clinton left office. So they don't remember what it was like when there was a president who looked out for them. <laughs> a president who actually put people first. that rings very true today. He said, quote, by the words we speak and the faces we show the world, we force the spring, a spring reborn in the world's oldest democracy that brings forth the vision and courage to reinvent America. As president, that's what Bill Clinton did. It is time again to force the spring, to bring the change we so desperately need, 
to restore the middle class, to make people feel secure in their jobs, in their homes, able to access the health care they need, able to afford a college education. I know I speak for Barack and Michelle and for Joe when I say that we're honored and humbled by your support. And we're so grateful to have the friendship of Hillary Clinton and the man I'm about to introduce, please join me in welcoming President Bill Clinton.